Welcome to 190. Welcome to 190. Hi, welcome to 190. Welcome to 190. Welcome to 190. Hi, this is Miss Magnelio. Welcome to IS 190. Hey, this is Miss Magnelio. Welcome to 190. Welcome to IS 190. Welcome. 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 Welcome to 190. IS-190's Art Showcase. My name is Alicia Tully, and I'm the Arts Education Liaison and very proud theater arts teacher here at IS-190. Today we're all excited to share the remarkable work that our students have done throughout this year in our arts programs. Our arts education program focuses on the socio-emotional learning of our students, and this year that's been a major focus in our school. The arts are a gateway to joy, empathy, and empowerment. They guide us to explore an idea in a personal capacity, building a bridge to deeper meaning. In a year defined by distance, our students created a virtual community of respect, resilience, and creativity. Using visual arts, music, and theater, our students found a way to reach through their computer screens and strengthen our community with their unique voices. They've had comprehensive discussions about the many difficult real-world issues that have happened this year and have used the arts to express how they've been affected by these issues. Through the generous support of the Pierre and Tana Matisse Foundation's Schools Choose Grant, we've been able to provide varied arts programs for our students to help them express their unique perspectives. The Matisse Foundation is dedicated to bringing comprehensive art education programs to New York City schools. Today, you will see the many ways that our students thrive in these programs. The Brave Hearts Foundation Drumline led by Miss Vicky and Mr. George Salas, the Fire Zone Chorus Program, led by Bud Ramsey, our Visual Arts Program, Create a Craft, led by IS-190's own Nina Pizarro, Angel Cruz, and Deborah Torres, and our Theater Arts Program, which has been so fortunate to have the talents of Miss Cherie Davis of Urban Word NYC, and Jordana Rubenstein Edberg of the Early Rap Program. Our showcase begins with the works of our amazing and talented sixth and seventh graders who rose to the challenge of this unusual school year and moves on to a celebration of our seniors. The class of 2021 has no peer. And even though they did not get to enjoy all of the trips and experiences that our seniors usually have, they traverse this year with strength and humor. Our students are simply amazing. And it is with great pride 
and serious admiration that I present to you, IS-190's Art Show. Something I learned during the pandemic in Drumline is to not lose motivation. I lost motivation during Drumline and I left it for a while. Don't do that. Um, stay in Drumline and don't lose motivation because by the end of the day, it will be worth it and you're learning a new skill, which is learning an instrument and how to play. doing painting from home because it was something I've never done before. And I thought that both my paintings came out better than I expected. People dying when it's time to lend a hand to life. The greatest gift of all. We can't go on pretending day by day that someone Somehow we'll soon make a change We are all a part of God's great big family And the truth You know love is all we need We are the ones We are the children We are the ones to make a brighter day It felt pretty good I think it was pretty nice to be at home um, doing the painting. My inspiration behind my clay craft was just a simple dolphin swimming in water that looks bright red, but it's the reflection of the sun setting showing the end of the day is near. So doing an art project virtually because of COVID is actually pretty fun because usually I don't really like art, but doing it virtually that I can like turn off and turn on my camera is pretty calming because really there's a lot of stuff going on because of COVID and some stuff is like backed up sometimes and Really, I don't like showing my face, but sometimes when I'm not really focused on it, it, then I'm good with it. So what I have made was a like hand clay print and the inspiration behind it was really, I want to do like a kind of color scheme with the hand, like different colors on everything. And also made like a little, oh, uh, what you call it again? like a little wall kind of on it and the handprint and i put the palm different color than like the fingers and the little spaces
this project was fun because I got to do it from home. My terrarium was inspired by my favorite design. It was different doing it from home because I'm used to doing art pieces in school. Also, I had stress and it took away the stress because I had got to do it how I wanted to. And I put my own little twist on it. And then after I took care of it, like if that was my child. So I had fun doing it. It was a good experience from doing it from home. But I wish we could do it from school. But with the pandemic, we couldn't. But I still have fun doing it. And yeah. So what I did here with Damien is we drew confusion because a lot of people were confused during the pandemic. So me and Jasmine actually said we did the confusion, but we also did the viruses to show how the virus is spreading everywhere. And then over here, we drew the siren to represent <laughs> how there was only sirens going around because so many people have been hospitalized. Mm -hmm. Well, I drew a grocery store because when the pandemic came, everybody was quarantined and they needed food to stock up, but there was not a lot of food and all the stuff. And I drew a caution sign on the bathroom because nobody was allowed to go to the bathroom because uh, they didn't want the, um, the virus spreading. I drew a graveyard because a lot of people were dying during COVID and people weren't washing their hands wearing masks or um and they were sneezing on people. And what I did here was he drew a school and how the schools got shut down during quarantine so nobody could get infected. Welcome now to the 6th and 7th grade theater arts program. This year in theater arts, our focus of the curriculum was the socio-emotional learning of our students. Our goal was to teach them how truly resilient they are and to instill hope. They showed us. The barrier of the computer screen was no match for our incredible students. Every week they reached out and made connections through creative engagement, and they kept our 190 family thriving. This year, we were fortunate enough to work with two outstanding teaching artists. Cherie Davis, lovingly known as Miss C, is a poet, playwright, and teaching artist with Urban Word NYC. Each week, she brought her energetic, poetic stylings to our students and helped them build self-esteem and through various forms of poetry, help them learn to articulate their thoughts. Our seventh grade was fortunate to also have the opportunity to work with Miss Jordana Rubenstein Edberg. Jordana is an artist and community educator with Early Rap. Early Rap is a program with the Steps to End Family Violence, which is a division of the mayor's office. Jordana, lovingly known as Miss J, helped our students learn about artivism which is art and activism. With her gentle guidance, Ms. J taught our students how to handle and navigate difficult topics, how to have effective dialogue with those who have differing opinions, and how to advocate for themselves. Our sixth and seventh grade students showed wisdom and courage beyond their years, 
in advocating for the world that they want. People, our future is bright with these kids at the helm. No fears. It's an honor to walk alongside them on their journey as they bloom. I am extremely proud to introduce the 6th and 7th grade theater arts program called My Voice, My Message to the World. Hi everybody, welcome to A Message to the World, a showcase of our 6th and 7th grade artists. My name is Miss C and I'm from Urban Word NYC. I've had the distinct pleasure every Monday and Tuesday for the past semester of hanging out with our sixth and seventh graders, uh, working on poetry and artwork in particular. And to say I'm proud of these students is an understatement. It's been a wild year for everybody, right? With the pandemic, with all of the social and racial conversations that have been happening, and with all the personal things that are going on in our lives. These students stepped up to the plate. They would come to class, engage in reading or talking about poetry that we would bring in every week. And they would then write and make art, reflecting on what they were reading, but also responding to what was going on right outside their doors and in their personal lives. It was such a pleasure and an honor to listen to these students and engage in their collaborations. Today, you're just going to see a taste, a sliver of some of the work that they've done this semester. You'll see collaborations between artists, visual and poetic. You'll also hear a little bit of music and hear some thoughts from these incredible students. So, if anyone here has never been to a poetry slam, I think it's important that you come into our classroom and come into our cipher. The cipher being our circle. If you hear something or see something that really vibes with you, you see a piece of art, you hear a poem, hear a line in a poem, you wanna put some snaps in the air and show that poet some love. Let's see if we could try that. All right, let's see. Um, I'm giving you a hotline and on the count of three, I want you to put some snaps in the air. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, 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 oh yes. Perfect. I think we're ready to show our poets some love. Are we ready for our poets and our artists? I think so. All right, team, let's take it away. <laughs> My community is like a song, a song that you can never get bored of because there's always that one verse to look forward to. That one verse that makes you feel in a good mood that verse that you can count on to make you feel better when you're all depressed. My community is like a song that makes you feel like you're not alone. A very relatable song. I love it when she embraces herself. I wonder why she is hated when she embraces herself. When she embraces herself, some smile. When she embraces herself, some sneer. But when she embraces herself, she feels empowered. But what they see is something disgusting when she embraces herself. Some even say she's not a woman, even when she doesn't embrace herself. What they say makes her feel like it's wrong when she embraces herself. But we have to tell her it's not wrong when she embraces herself. When she embraces herself, it is something beautiful. I dream of a world where there's equality, where no matter how we look, we can be treated equally, where no matter what we do, we can be treated the same, where no matter our gender, we can be equals. I dream of a world where we don't have to be scared of death because of how we look. I dream of a world where we love who we want freely without judgment. I dream of a world where there's no judgment. I dream of a world where there's no violence or racism. Why can't we make these dreams a reality? Why do we have to judge? Why can't we just love instead of hate? We can just put our differences aside. All we have to do to make these dreams a reality is accept change, accept difference, accept that no one's the same. Once we do that, we can all live in an equal world.
Okay, so today I'll be reading my poem called Strong. Learn from your mistakes, but also forget the mistake and remember the lesson. Our mistakes haunt the future like a big weapon, but we are strong, powerful people with the future too bright for the dark past. We say good things don't last, and that's when everything goes downhill. We give up too easily, and that thrill we had about our future starts to collapse. But we are strong, and that's when we realize we were wrong. I look at the clock, a fear hit me, a fear of never being free. I hate thinking that one day I'll leave and all I left behind are broken dreams I didn't achieve. I want to leave a footprint in the sand so people, so that people know. I know my biggest fear is running out of time. It is important for me to say that inequality spans the mall. My teacher once said that once you get the certain call, stand tall. I just want to tell the world equality for all. The poem that I'll be reading is World in My Head. When I lay in my bed, I start to think of a world that is filled with differences. I think of people who dress differently. Nobody looks the same, nobody dressed the same. I think of all the food that could be found. All the foods have a different taste and none taste the same. I think about how the people act around each other. Nobody acts the same, nobody is the same. I lay on my bed to picture this world where everything, every day, is not the same. I it's about teachers. Teachers paint their mind, guide their thoughts, share their thinking to give us goals, inspire a love, kindness, and caring. As you like the way which lead to our goal, every lesson you give, the brighter it gets, the smarter we get. Taught me, inspired me for us to reach our goal. Quisqueya, la belleza del sueño debajo del sol, suelo de sierras y escoquillea de sabanas y valles que con, que con sus ríos y su lago forma en toda su arena impresme, impresionantes países. Hey guys, my name is Demetrius Gibson Jr. The poem I like to recite to you all is called A Million Little Diamonds. A million little diamonds twinkle on the streets. All the children cry, a jewel if you please. But while their hands are stretched to catch the diamonds, a million little zombies came and stole them all away. By Mary Frances Butts. It is important for me to say to never give up. It is important for me to tell myself that every time I feel like I can't complete an assignment. Saying this to myself will help me get through remote learning. Saying this to myself will convince me to never give up on a difficult task. Saying this to myself will convince me to continue completing my assignments even when it's too much work. It is important for everyone to tell themselves to never give up. It's important for me to say dream big and you'll achieve your dreams. 
My teacher once said, if you can dream it, you can achieve it. I want to tell the world, don't let nobody ruin your dreams. It's impossible to dream small, always dream big. Dream big, dream big. I hear in the streets as I imagine walking quietly down the street. I will, in my own words, as I walk down the street. Never dream small, teachers and I for 90 say. Teachers and I eyes for 90 say, you can always do it if you put your mind to it. I listen and speak my thoughts, write my thoughts, and always say it's important for me to, to say dream big and you will achieve your dreams. Poetry is the voice of love, bones, and blood. The sound of the time that flows in the magic river of memories. With a spring that covers the pain of the soul. Burn anything without tenderness, without the word that we lies. Passion, loneliness, Death and sweetness. Hi, this is my poem presentation. Um, the poem I've chosen today is um, speaking out for victims of bullying and for anyone who is dealing with bullying. Today I woke up and chose to speak for the victims of bullying. For all those who can't speak up, here I am telling you it's okay. For any hardships you are going through, they will pass and you will be okay. If it's something you can't get past, it will be okay to tell somebody who can help you. Your bullying won't last forever because everything in life passes and there will always be the light at the end of the tunnel. So keep a positive attitude for whatever you're going through. For our world, the bad people, the good people, even the medium people, we are all the same, a heart, a heart and a brain. If you use these elements in one another for evil, humanity will go nowhere. We'll be stuck, no escape. However, if we use these elements for good, we will have a good future. No COVID-19, no other viruses that may or may not appear in the future. To our world, if you keep robbing, hurting people, it will only make your life worse and not better. If you don't stand up for yourself when you are getting bullied, the bully will know that you can't fight back. Therefore, it will be will continue bullying you. To our world, to our people, to our animals, we'll be okay. Don't worry about anything in your way. Just follow your dreams and everything will be good. Your dreams will come true unless you make them come true. Study, study hard every night. Get an A plus in every grade. If you do that, maybe your life won't be so hard. To our world, your day isn't going. If your day isn't going as planned, maybe the next thing will. To our world. Yes! Oh, my gosh. Team! Oh, give it up for our sixth and seventh graders again! Woo! Bring in the heat! Team, it's been such an honor rocking with you this year, but we cannot go without sharing a special shout out with our audience. You! friends, family, guardians, supporters, for all of the incredible nurturing you did of our artists. We encourage you all, keep writing, keep creating. It's such an important part of our lives and our learning that we wanna encourage everyone to keep the art alive. Team, it's been such a pleasure. Every week coming in with the sixth and seventh graders, you have been inspiring to me as an artist and as a teacher. I will say that with all your brilliant messages to the world, well, I'm not worried about the future. <laughs> your brilliant shining stars are gonna lead us into a bright, bright future. Thank you so much, team. I miss C and it's been real. Have a good one.
Hi, my name is Marjorie Pujol and I'll be singing No Me Queda Mas by Selena. No me queda más Si perdeme en un abismo de tristeza Lágrimas No me queda más Si aguantarle bien mi derrota Y brindate felicidad No me queda más Si tu regreso sería una imposibilidad Y esto que no es amor Lo conllegas lo que dices que nunca pasó Es el más dulce recuerdo de mi vida Yo tenía una esperanza En el fondo de mi alma Que un día te quedaras tú conmigo Y a un gol de una ilusión Que alimentaba el corazón El corazón que hoy tiene que verte como solo amigo y aunque viví enamorada y totalmente equivocada, no me importa. Porque esto sí fue amor, por mi parte, lo más lindo, el más grande amor. Aunque siempre lo renuncies para mí, fue lo más bello. Yes. Is it on? Yes. Why didn't you tell me it was on? It's on. Good afternoon. It is my honor and privilege to introduce the tribute to the eighth grade. Why do you have a mouse pad? You don't even have a computer. Cut. It is my honor and privilege to introduce the tribute to the eighth grade. Three years ago, as young sixth graders, you met me, your teacher, you student, and we spent a whole year together learning sixth grade math. And I can honestly say that you, this current eighth grade, was the best group of students I've ever had. Ever? Yeah, seriously, best group of students I've ever had. But you said the same things in the first eighth grade class you had. God, and I can honestly say you were the best class I've ever had. <laughs> it's not funny. It's serious. Best class I ever had. Okay. Cut. And I can honestly say, you were the best class that I've ever taught. My favorite of all time, regardless about what anybody says. So anyway, this section of the show the IS-190 Showcase is dedicated to you, 8th grade, my favorite class of all time. How are you doing in Bray Park? Drum line changed you. It changed me from being less shy and being more talkative.
inside my bones. It goes electric, baby, when I turn it on. Off from my city, off from my home. We're flying up, no ceiling when we in our zone. I got that sunshine in my pocket. Got that good soul in my feet. I feel that hot blood in my body when it drops. Ooh, I can't take my eyes off of it. Moving so phenomenally. Boom on like the way we rock it. So don't stop. It's under the lights when everything goes. It's Joshua right here from Class 801. Well, as you can see, this stuff is very old and getting dry. So, like, if a new student's coming here and sees this, he's not going to feel good. And he's going to feel, like, uncomfortable. And we're going to make it look nice so he can feel good in a good environment. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, IS190, so it's Roger from Class Table 2. We're gonna paint this classroom, this part of the classroom, and we're gonna make it look nice. It's looking very old and ugly, but we're gonna change it, and it's gonna look very nice. Cause I got that sunshine in my pocket you Got that good soul in my feet I feel that hot blood in my body When it drops, ooh I can't take my eyes off of it Moving so phenomenally Boom on my the way we rock it So don't stop now Under the lights when everything goes No better hide when I'm getting too close When we move How do you feel about fixing up classrooms, painting, like just giving the classrooms kind of like a brighter feel? Um, how I feel about it is basically, it's like, you know, 
it basically makes the 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 casting feel you know, a lot new and a lot more cleaner and stuff like that and and it will like you know pop out just like just like like the other things in this school so yeah. Oh. Yeah. I can't stop the Oh Yeah Oh Oh Yeah I can't stop the One word that comes to mind when I think of the class of 2021 is mine. You're my students. We started together three years ago. We're ending together three years later through COVID, through ups, through downs, through everything. You're my children. I'm so proud of the work that all of you have done. And for those of you who may not have been able to do everything you were supposed to do, I'm proud of you too. We're all going to go to high school, we're all going to live our lives, and we're all going to be successful. COVID will not stop us. It put a dent in our program. We didn't get to spend a lot of time together, but we will be successful. I'm proud of the class of 2021, and you should be proud of yourselves. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Hello, eighth graders. This is Miss Cookie. I want to congratulate you on your next venture in life, which was high school. So when I think of the eighth grade, I think of all the fun times we had in Central Park, in, um, we had Applebee's, we had Times Square, and I think we just had the best fun together. I will always think of them when I'm walking through Central Park. My dear graduating class of 2021, I know it's been a very difficult year for you and for all of us. Now comes the beginning of your future. Think about what you want to do in life and just keep soaring to the top. I love you all. You will be truly missed. Bye. And when I think of class of science, I have to think this time when they were in seventh grade before the pandemic. Many of them would come to my office asking for breakfast. Mr. Camillo, I'm hungry, do you have breakfast? Uh, asking for pencil, asking for band aid, and what else? And many other things. So I have to get ready for them. I have to have all those supplies so that when they come, I have something to give them. Congratulations, class of 2021. Don't forget, IS-190, we are in the heart of the Bronx. A word I think about when I think about the eighth grade is progress. Um, this group of students, you have been one of my first groups um, that I've been able to work with as sixth graders all the way through eighth grade. I remember you as little sixth graders coming into 190. Um, and I see you now as the graduating class of 190. I am so impressed with the progress that I've seen both academically and, um, and just the way you've matured as people and I'm so proud of your accomplishments. So um, congratulations and don't forget to come back and visit us. Hi 8th graders, me and Coco here. We just wanted to congratulate you on your graduation. You're finishing middle school and you're starting a new chapter in your life. High school is so much fun and you guys are going to do so well. I'm so proud of you. The world is within you and you can do anything you put your mind to. Don't forget that.
Don't let anyone or any situation keep you from following your dreams. Remember that. And congratulations again. When I think of our seniors, the word that comes to mind is resilience. Why I say resilience? You all stepped up during these very, very difficult times and you have worked hard, tirelessly, and you have also advocated for yourselves. So that word resilience speaks volumes about you. Hello, seniors. I would be remiss if I didn't join in with all your other teachers today in sharing how much I adore you. And I'm speaking to all of our seniors, not just those who participated in today's program. I've had the joy of sharing your inventiveness, your undeniable charms, and your aptitude for abject silliness for three years. I admire your spirits. I appreciate every time you've stepped outside of your comfort zone. But you know that I'm going to cry if I start talking about how much I treasure you. So I brought someone here with me today who's going to do it for me. There is a very attractive man here who wrote a sonnet for you in honor of how much I cherish you guys. William! Will! It's time. I'm gonna have to go get him. I will be like right back. Hello, IS-190, friends and family, and all who celebrate with us today. Tis I, William Shakespeare. Tis true, I did write a sonnet for the class of 2021 in honor of how much Miss Tully loves them. Tis called Sonnet Number 2021. Eighth grade, eighth grade, how I miss you in school. Eighth grade, eighth grade, how art thou so cool? Eighth grade, eighth grade, creativity unmatched. Eighth grade, eighth grade, my heart thou hast snatched. Eighth grade, eighth grade with thy swagger divine. Eighth grade, eighth grade, three years, you've been mine. Eighth grade. Eighth grade, in my heart you grew. Eighth grade, eighth grade, I'm greater because of you. Eighth grade, eighth grade, tears of joy in mine eye. Eighth grade, eighth grade, tis now time to fly. Eighth grade, eighth grade, know this to be true. Eighth grade, eighth grade, I shall always love you. Class of 2021, know this, thou shalt forever be Miss Tully's gallant, honey-tongued, thunder-darting wafer cake. Hi, my name is Serenity Ingram, and I'm singing Lovely by Billie Eilish. Thought I found a way, thought I found a way, yeah. But you never go away, so I guess I gotta stay now. Oh, I hope someday, yeah, I may get out of here, even if it takes all night. Oh. Shine, you shine, we shine, we shine, that makes 
makes the fireworks. That makes the fireworks. Yeah. When I shine, you shine. We shine, we shine. That makes the fireworks. That makes the fireworks. My name is Miss C from Urban Word NYC. I've had the distinct pleasure of being the eighth grade poetry teacher this year. To say that this year was a challenge is probably an understatement. From the pandemic to the many conversations around social justice to virtual learning becoming the standard, our students had a lot to challenge them this year. However, as you'll see in our presentation, Speak Out our eighth graders stepped up to the plate, expressing themselves not just with poetry, but with artwork and in collaboration. And so today, you'll just get a taste of that work that we've been doing this past semester. Now, I do have to say, our eighth graders know how this goes, but I'm gonna have to bring all you parents and teachers into the room, and you're gonna get down like we get down. So, if you have ever been to a slam, this might be old hat for you, but, if you are joining our room today for the first time and go, how do I watch poetry? How do I take in some artwork that I like? If you enjoy something you hear, you're gonna put some snaps in the air. And if you're watching from a device, well, maybe you put some snaps in the chat. You're gonna hear our, uh, our students say that quite often because that became a huge part of our story. Not just creating work, but also showing love and support to the many brave artists that shared every single week. And today, you're a part of that family. So are you ready? I think you are. I'm gonna to toss it to our incredible eighth grade hosts, Chris Mady and Dylan. Take it away, team. And action. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the 2021 Senior Art Showcase. Speak out! A celebration of poetry and artwork. My name's Dylan. And I'm Chris Mady, and we'll be your host for today's showcase. This year we've created poetry and artwork about what's on in our minds. And today you'll get just a little taste. Three, two, one. Are you ready? Mm, I don't think you're ready. Are you sure you're ready? Mm, I don't think they're ready, Chris Mady. I just have to turn off this whole show. I don't think so, Dylan. We said, are you ready? ready? Let's get started. Coming up for today's is Liana. Put some love and snaps in the chat. When you look at me, you see me smile and laugh and join the day surrounded by the people that I love. You ask me, who are you and what's your identity? When I am alone, I am broken. The smile you see isn't who I really am. My parents always tell me, you're a beautiful, strong, young woman. But I don't see it that way because I am not strong. I am scared. Scared to achieve the things she knows she can achieve. Scared to break out of her shell and become the young woman that her parents always tell her she is. Growing up, people told her she isn't strong. She can't achieve anything. Maybe that's why I'm scared. Well, enough is enough. It's time to break out of my shell. I'm Liana Victoria. I'm a beautiful young lady. I like to read. I like to enjoy sunny days. And sometimes I like to sit on the rooftops and look at the moon on a nice windy night. I am Liana Victoria. I am strong. Wow, that was amazing. So, in doing the honors, let's welcome to the stage one of the amazing Shantae. Show your love by putting some snaps in the chat. This poem is going to be about what I think love is. Love is when you love them for so long, knowing they don't love you back. So you slowly move on, but when you see them again, you fall right back in love with them, hoping they love you back. Even though they hurt you, you still love them. Love is hard sometimes, but when you love them so hard, you don't care. But it still hurts. But at the end 
of all that, you and that, you and them end up happy in love with each other, or you more love someone that loves you and treats you better than you actually thought that person who you love treats you. In my opinion, I think that's what love is. Even though some ways people show me love is hurtful or in good ways. Love is sometimes hard. Let's keep the energy and bring our next poet to the stage. Say Dicky, put some love and snaps in the air. I am Tidiki Diara. I was born in, New in the New United States. My heritage was my father. Sometimes my dad calls me Olivier. My three favorite foods are salad, McDonald's, chick chicken with broccoli, with rice, with rice. And uh, an object that means a lot to me is my phone. My favorite place to go is the swimming pool. I like to play tag. I'm going to become an inventor. I like to get songs from a game. And I like science. Science. I am CD Diara. So um, that's something that I got. That's something that I got from the first poem that we made because uh, if we're going to leave, since I'm going to go to the ninth grade simulator, um, I'm going to use it, use it as a token of my gratitude for thanking you for all this time, time, and I really thank you. All right. So next to the stage, we got one of the best, my co-host, Chris Maddy. Show some love by putting your snaps in the chat. My emotions are getting over me. It's sad that the world has to be so cruel. Like it shouldn't matter if a person is overweight, really slim, dark, light, Hispanic, Asian, have on different outfits, style, want to dress, be different, and try out new things, have a different accent, come from very weird places or like. Places where you never knew that existed in the world. Um, wanted to live life their way happily, but others just don't let them live happily. Might as well say that people are this way because they don't want to feel bad about themselves. So they have to hate on you as much as they can. With that, you hate on yourself again and again, and you get on your knees to not get hate again. And all they say, you will never be safe. Hi guys, I'm going to be sharing my poem. I am Roger and I call my poem The Wise Book. God's word says, look carefully then how you walk, not as unwise but as wise. This means that we need to be careful like the painter is careful with his paintings. We need to be wise like the owl and intelligent like the elephant. The Bible is the wisest book, good for the wise, but we people have to become wise like its words. Wisdom is a jewel that we need to seek, but it is hard to seek because we can be weak. Weakness can be hard to destroy because of how we may speak. Due to our techniques of speaking, our critiques may become unjust and unwise. But if we speak wisely, our weakness will decrease and strength will increase with the help of God. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, damn, Roger, that was incredible. Let's welcome to the stage a friend and a beautiful poet, Biofly. Stop the hate. Stop judging. Stop killing. Stand up for Asian rights. They are not a virus. Treated equally is what they want. Their voices want to be heard by this generation. Their voice should matter to you. Their voice should touch your heart so you feel the sharp pain stabbing their hearts and soul of the need to go through every single day to worry about their lives, of the need to be worried, to be alert when they're in the streets, of the need to be worrying about how they're gonna keep themselves safe. 
13 year old hispanic young girl in this side talking putting herself in their hearts telling you stand up for these people they want to be heard they want their lives to matter to the world they want and need help look into their eyes and see or even feel the pain of being scared nobody in this planet should be able to go out in these streets scared or having to worry about getting killed or not having to worry about getting bullied or not having to worry about even getting judged or not not possible for them to be getting tortured better say their name and stand up for these people oh what you guys are killing it i cannot that was amazing wow okay but next to the show not just a poet but an artist an artist remember justin I have a question. My question doesn't have an answer. How many more? How many people have to live their life with fears because bullies take every ounce of happiness away? How many more? How many more people have to raise their fist saying Black Lives Matter? How many more? How many more people have to check into hospitals to know violence is not the answer? How many more? How many more people have to take their lives because you didn't ask how are you? How many more? How many more people had to die by driveways? How many more? How many more people had to cry because of your hate? How many more? How many more people missed the signs of people feeling as hollow as a straw? How many more? How many more? How many more people will have to assume that this is what we do because it's our race? How many more? How many more people will have to wonder where the next meal is? How many more? How many more kids will have to be abused? How many more? How many more until it's enough? All right, next up to the stage, you guys are killing it. We got Kevin. Show some love by putting your snaps in the chat. All this smile on my mom brings me joy. Her excitement, her happiness. Even through all the struggles, she can bring a positive attitude, like walking through the gates of heaven. She is so delicate like a rose in a garden, as beautiful as anyone can be. They say that winning the lottery is the greatest thing that can happen, but I already won by having you as my mother. If after this life, the only thing I would ask God is to have you as my mother once again. I love you, Mom. Now let's welcome our next poet, to the stage, my beautiful co-host, Dylan. And it's called regular school day, so I'm going to start now. Also, this is Dylan. I woke up and it was as bright as day. So I said, eh, and I hit the hay. Mom told me to get up, but you know, guys, I didn't want to. So she squeezed my hand, and then my hand turned blue. I ate breakfast. I was tired. My mom said, if you make me late, I'll get fired. I waked to I walked to school, saw my friends on the way. They waved and I waved back, so I shouted hooray. We entered class and it was very bored. So I stood at the window and looked at the glass. The teacher said, Get out your books. We all got them out. Then she looked at us confused and asked, What's with the sad looks? Okay, so next to the stage, we got Marcus with music by Justin. And show some love by putting all those beautiful snaps in the chat. The grass is green, the sunshine beams, the stream gleams, but that means the nature seems. The weather and streams are redeemed by the sunshine blooms, but are done by beams from the light to the sea. And that corona, Corona, what have you learned? I have learned not to mess with the people that can be heard. 
Corona, Corona, what do you hear? I hear the cry and moans of the people's tears. Corona, Corona, what have you done? I have heard the people's life that just begun. But still I cry for the things I have done. Now I know that the people are strong. Corona, Corona, I'm going to ask you this once again. When have you done, my friend? I have lost this battle and the people have just begun. Now they cheer because all I have done is let them know that they are stronger as one. Are amazing, you are impressing me by the second. That was awesome, guys. Good job. And this year, our artists are not only doing poetry, but also they spoke with powerful pictures. And here are a few beautiful pieces of art. I swear, guys, you won't regret it. Please welcome to the stage Amaya, Victoria, Precious, and Bio. Let's put some snaps in the air for all of our beautiful, amazing artists. Powerful work, everyone. Amazing. I am shocked, Mark Blown. And thank you all for coming to our show. Thank you all for letting us be your host, and bye! I'm out. Hold up, wait, cut the cameras. Are we forgetting something? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, just give me a second. Wait. We can't leave without giving a special thanks to Miss Telly and all the teachers who helped us get here from IS190. Thank you, everyone. And thank you to all the teachers here. We could have not done this without your help and support. Thank you and love you.
our teachers. They all have different features. They are so amazing and that's what's great. They don't think that we are a waste and they never hesitate. So they show us the way so we can head for what we aim and never get stained or ache in pain. They're our substitute parents and that's what's great. You may sometimes think that they are hard on us, but that's what's good. They teach us what we need so we can never get break or feel caged. They change us so that we know to never be afraid for what our future awaits. So this one is for the teachers who embrace our different features. We love you teachers. It's just ugly Been blonde to the world, I swear it's been ugly This thought on my mind, no one can touch me Been seen through the glass, but my affection's been ugly I wish I'd been pretty so the people can love me I can't find the one that will kiss me and hold me Come to my side where the time heals me Lost, the time kills me Look at it in my eyes Welcome all of my shoes, tell me how it is Promises aren't real Promises aren't real Look at it in my eyes, welcome all of my shoes, tell me how it is Promises are unreal, promises are unreal Started missing people that I shouldn't be missing Starting to feel things that I shouldn't be feeling Things on my thing, I might be tripping On the other side, I'm the one that you missing Got a great personality, I'm one of the villains While the villains is booking condos up in his feelings Don't take me as a joke, I'll put you up in your feelings Well, I keep it real that ain't none of your business Look at it in my eyes Welcome all of my shoes Tell me how it is Promises are never real Promises aren't real Look at it in my eyes Welcome all of my shoes Tell me how it is Promises are never real Promises aren't real so now you got the pretty and ugly, ugly and pretty The times where I didn't see, maybe it's within me The time where I wasn't me, I've been within me There's times where I gotta be a little bit ugly But I promise it's gonna be better days, in better ways You better listen, the world is much different I didn't take the time, the time that I was missing Now that I see that I'm different Look at it in my eyes, welcome all of my shoes Tell me how it is, promises aren't real Promises are never real Look at it in my eyes, welcome all of my shoes, tell me how it is Promises aren't real, promises are never real 
So now you got the pretty and ugly, ugly and pretty The time where I didn't see me, you spending me The time where I wasn't mean, I've been within me There's times where I gotta be a little bit ugly But I promise gonna be better days, and better ways You better listen, the world is different. I didn't take the time, the time that I was missing Now that I see that I'm different Look at it in my eyes Walk them all in my shoes, tell me how it is Promises aren't real Promises are never real Look at it in my eyes Walk them all in my shoes, tell me how it is Promises aren't real Promises are never real Jay Let's give a big round of applause to all of today's student artists. Round of applause, round of applause. Arts education at IS190 is a team effort, and I'd like to thank the people in our community who make it possible. First, I'd like to give a warm thanks to our principal, Costello McKenzie. He is a true friend of the arts and always asks, how can I help? He's always interested in what we're doing, and he appreciates the power of the arts. He creates an environment in our school in which the arts can thrive. Thank you, Mr. McKenzie, for making 190 a home of the arts. I'd like to give a big thanks to our assistant principal, Mr. Robert Ruiz, not only for his musical stylings that he demonstrated today, but for his daily efforts to ensure that this showcase is what our students deserved. His heart is big, his energy is contagious, and that excites our students to step outside of their comfort zone and perform. I would like to express 190's deep gratitude to Alessandra Carnielli, the Executive Director of the Pierre Antana Matisse Foundation, and Lisa Gutting, the Senior Arts Education Programmer. For three years, we've been working side by side with these remarkable women who have been instrumental in guiding our school to develop the programs that meet our students' needs. We're grateful for your partnership. Another big thanks goes out to our District 12 Superintendent, Ms. Jacqueline Rosado, our Deputy Superintendent, Ms. Aurelis Parche, our Executive Superintendent of the Bronx, Dr. Erica Tobaya, and Misha Ross Porter, our school's Chancellor, for demonstrating that the arts are a vital part of a child's education by giving arts education the resources it needs to flourish. Now a group near and dear to my heart are the folks at the Office of Arts and Special Projects. Joanna Berenson, our Bronx Borough Art Director has created wonderful programs and events that benefit students and teachers alike, including Arts Mondays and Bronx Borough Arts Festivals. Peter Avery, the Director of Theater Education, works tirelessly to provide development opportunities for teachers with personal attention, round-the-clock availability, and a passion for student expression. Darlene Garner, the Director of Arts Education, Accountability, and Support, and Ellen Mauser, the Program Manager for Accountability, Support, and Teacher Effectiveness, keep art education liaisons informed and connected to the opportunities with the vibrant cultural institutions of New York City. Next, I'd like to thank the people who were able to bring us this wonderful performance today. Ms. Vicki and Mr. George Salas, the directors of the Brave Hearts Foundation Drumline. They kept the beat steady in an uncertain year, and with their hard work, made our students realize what they're capable of accomplishing. Mr. Bud Ramsey, the director of the Fire Zone Chorus. He taught our students the skill of harmony, both through musical chords and collaboration. He also put all of our work together and made it possible for us to share it with you online today. A big thanks for that, Mr. Ramsey. Ms. Nina Pizarro, our IS-190 support team member, Ms. Deborah Torres, our parent coordinator, and Mr. Angel Cruz, a power professional are the directors of the Create a Craft Arts Program. Each week, they mailed supplies to students and held classes, bringing art directly into our students' homes. Ms. Shuri Davis, poet, playwright, and teaching artist with Urban Word NYC, who through her indomitable spirit and kind mentoring, taught our students to find new avenues for personal expression. Ms. Jordana Rubenstein Edberg, artist and community educator with Early Rap. Her dedication to our students' socio-emotional learning this year has been a true gift. Her nurturing and example has guided our students to feel comfortable and value their voices. I'd like to give an extra big thank you to Ms. Connie Marquez, 
the Director of Teen Services at Steps to End Family Violence, and Danielle Nagy, the Supervisor at Early Rap, for their generous support in funding our seventh grade book of artwork and poetry. With this funding, we're able to publish a beautiful book of the powerful work that our seventh graders have done throughout this year. And personally, I would like to extend a heartfelt thanks to my colleagues at 190. None of this would have been possible without you. Your dedication to our students day in and day out is the foundation for their success. Today's a celebration of your work as well. In particular, a loud shout out goes to Ms. Lisa Raimundi and Ms. Simone Stewart, our school social workers, who counseled our students this year through the difficulties which fostered an environment where they felt safe to express themselves. Another shout out goes to Mr. Wan Wang, our eighth grade science teacher and resident wizard. He turned the science lab into a sound studio to make sure that our students' voices were heard loud and clear. Thank you for all your extra work, Mr. Wang. All right, kids, now it's time. Let's go. Get up out of your seats. Get up out of your seats. And you're going to give a big round of applause to the special people in your life who are sharing this with you today. It truly takes a village. And we at 190, thank you, family and friends of our students, for your guidance, support, and partnership in the growth of our students. Now, students, since you're up, I would like to extend a great thanks to our extraordinary 190 students. Folks, take a bow, take a bow. Your courage and resilience has been a lesson to all of us. You are the heartbeat of 190. And I know that I speak for all of your teachers in thanking you for bringing a smile to my face every day. We are all so proud of you guys. So let's give a big round of applause to all of our students for all of their achievements throughout this whole year. Round of applause. <laughs> to our 190 students, you have been the light in this long and sometimes dark year. As my beloved Shakespeare says, how far that little candle throws his beams. So shines a good deed in a weary world. Thank you 190 for your beautiful work. And thank you to everybody for celebrating our students today. And next year, all of this will be done in the auditorium. Thanks again, everybody, and have a marvelous day.